all right guys dying light the beast is here so in this video let's see how we can install fsr for upscaling and xcss frame generation in dying light 2 without OptiScaler. you just replace a few files and boom it works perfectly so let's dive in installing this is super easy no OptiScaler needed just replace some files and you are good to go Honestly, that's the best way to play Dying Light right now because of this scale is kinda broken at the moment for this game, obviously. It works, but it causes a lot of issues with Dying Light franchise even. So here's what you do. Open your Dying Light 2 install location. If you are going directly from your install folder, this is the path right here. As you can see, I'm using the free version of the game so i don't know exactly what you will run into if you have the legit version but it should be pretty similar next download the file from the link in the video description and open it replace the files with ones inside and that's it you are done now you can play the game when you are in game head over to settings video scroll down and you will see FSR4 is enabled. XCS frame generation is enabled as well. And even XCLL is enabled. Now, here's the important part. If you only have 6 GB of VRAM like mine, you must set your graphic settings to very low. If you try low, medium or high, your VRAM will max out in about 5 minutes and the performance will tank. With very low settings, my VRAM usage is around 3 to 4 GB and it stays stable. So make sure you do that and make sure to update your drivers. That helps a lot too. All right, let's talk performance. I'm getting really solid FPS here and I'm running FSR 4 in performance mode. And honestly, it's working better than FSR 3.1.5 on quality. With performance mode, I'm getting around 83 FPS. Switching to quality drops it by about 10 FPS. And yeah, even on very low settings, the game is still looks surprisingly good. I don't mind it at all. And performance is smooth. So that's it for this one. In the next video, we will cover Red Dead Redemption 2 with a brand new install method plus FSR 4 that hopefully removes those black bars and other weird graphical bugs AMD and Intel users have been struggling with. That one's gonna be awesome. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell. Adios amigos.